Now sometimes when you're laying a concrete graphic you can encounter some problems like the ground might not be completely flat or uh, sometimes if you don't use a concrete graphic roller and try to use something different you can encounter this problem. We always recommend using a concrete graphic roller to try to avoid this problem. But sometimes as you can see even if you do use that you can develop a bubble like we have right here. Now all you need to do when you have a bubble is get a straight edge razor or an exacto knife and poke a little hole in it. That's it. That will allow the air to escape and then get your roller and go over that area just a little bit more. And that's it to fixing a bubble in a concrete graphic. Now another thing that you want to avoid when applying a concrete graphic is bridging. If you have a crack or a crevice, you want to try as hard as you can to not place the concrete graphic over that crack or crevice. If you do, what's going to happen is it's going to allow water to come in through this crevice and get under your concrete graphic and potentially mess it up. So when you are applying a graphic, be sure to try to be at least an eighth of an inch away from that crevice. You don't want to be much closer than that right there. That's going to ensure that you're not going to get the water texture that comes through. So you apply your graphic and like always you roll it on and just always try to avoid those cracks and crevices.